international and watching, there are two big sectors in Australia. It's the mining sector and it's, it's the banking sector. And, you know, obviously the ASX has seen a, a little bit of a, a bull run for the, for the most part of late, if we're talking about over the course of the last year, helped along by what we're seeing stateside. Is that going to be able to be held? Are we going to continue to see performance in those sectors? Because as they go, the rest of the market goes. Yeah, that's the question we sort of grapple with. I think if you um, deal them separately, because they are quite separate in terms of the outlook in, in our view, I think in the banking space, I think it's probably as good as it gets. Um, you know, I hate to put a sell on BAM, on, um, on Com Bank because it's sort of like, um, you know, shooting Bambi's mum, but, you know, everyone just loves Commonwealth Bank. But Com Bank at 20 times earnings, the term funding facility is starting to roll off. Um, you know, we are going to see some bad and outfit ex exposure increase. You know, credit uh, growth has tightened. Um, so I think it's probably as good as it gets for the banking sector right at the moment, notwithstanding passive flows, which are a bigger part of the market. I think there are resources. I think, you know, you, you have seen, you know, a very circumspect market for the last uh, two or so years. You have seen underinvestment globally. You know, we are waiting to get some, some road uh, signs from China as to how things are progressing. But at some point, I would expect, you know, the outlook for the our resources sector is much more positive given the low valuations, high free cash flow, you know, the discipline they've been showing and so forth. So we are actually overweight in the resources sector and underweight banks right at the moment. Interesting. Uh, where else have you uh, altered your positions right now, Romano? Yeah, so I, mean, I think one of the big themes that we see for 2024 is likely to be um, M&A activity. Uh, you know, we think that's for a number of reasons. Firstly, 2023 was a period of, of um, uh, sort of lower activity than, than historically. Uh, we're also seeing the Australian dollar, in our view, is now bottom and is turning up. So any offshore predators will know that if you want to make a move on ASX listed securities, the currency is not going to be any better than it is today. So it's a time to move. And, um, you know, and of course, uh, we also think that 2024 is going to be a period of low growth. So when you do have low growth, you do need to look at um, trying to buy that growth through M&A. You, you take out a competitor, you get some margin expansion, you maybe get some PR expansion, et cetera. So on the theme that we're looking at sort of for, for much of this year is M&A, um, and we do see some really good opportunities in that space.